Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and I'm so excited because today I get to share with you the new Lilo and Stitch Be Happy Box from The Happy Planner. Um, so for my new viewers, if you're interested in checking this out, welcome and I hope you guys do. Um, and my returning viewers, welcome back. Glad that you guys are all joining me today. Um, so this is a gifted product from The Happy Planner um, as an ambassador for them. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. Then I thought it'd be fun to do a couple daily pages as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So first of all, the Be Happy box is so stinking cute because they have a super decorative box. Like, look at this. It is adorable. And then... They have the most adorable paper in Lilo and Stitch sticker. I know people who like save the paper and they do little spreads with them, um, which I think is a great idea, but I honestly don't. <laughs> so I try to, I think sometimes I say that I'm going to, and then I, I don't. So anyways, they always include a card that has all of the items on it. But if you're like me and you wanna be surprised, I throw it to the side. So let's go ahead and just kind of jump into everything. Um, I'm gonna, I am gonna have to unwrap the plastic from it. So first of all, we have a Lilo and Stitch silicone pouch. This is like, oof, that hurt. Um, this is so stinking cute. I love the silicone pouches because they're in really nice shape and they can store a lot in here. So this is something that I like to just kind of keep on my desk like this. Have my pens, my markers, whatever in there. So that way when I need when I need one, it's just really easy to dig through and find it. So silicone pouches are one of my top favorite type of pen pouches. And then we have some metal discs. Um, I love that they didn't put these in a box. I love that they actually just kind of wrapped it in like the little plastic wrap like that. But these are so cute because they have a stitch head. Oh my, okay, I keep hitting that. Um, they have a stitch head. These are so stinking adorable. So you get 11 metal discs. These are, I would call these like a navy blue. Um, they definitely, don't remind me of any color that we have seen so far. I feel like this is like a newer color. So cute. And you do get 11 of them. So you can fit, make it fit the mini, the classic, or the big. Then we have some Lilo and Stitch themed bookmarks. These are always so much fun, especially when you have like this fun little cutout design. Okay, Duke wants the box. He just wants to be, he just wants to be in the way. Um, so one says, stay true to you. And the other one says, today looks bright. These have eight holes or they like have, they have eight punches. So these fit the classic, classic or big. Um, just know that it you would start like this at the very first one and it won't go all the way down and it does have some little tabs so in that way you can be able to see them when your planner is closed but yeah those are so stinking cute and then oh my goodness a lilo and stitch this is a mini size um it looks like based on the number of of dividers it looks like a notebook this is the cutest cover ever i think that is so stinking adorable beautiful green discs oh, okay let's go ahead and cut this open noisy outside so hula honey and we have dotted line discs. Oh my gosh, look at this divider. Adorable. 
dotted line desk with a little Lilo and Stitch design and then flowers down the spine. And then we have a divider that matches the cover. And this is what the other side looks like. I love that you have different designs on it. Um, is that the same design? It is the same design. Okay, so same design on all of the papers. And then true to you with just stitch. So stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't. I love it. And then here's the inside cover. You have that green foliage design. And then the back cover. So that is so stinking cute. We have a sticker book, which we're going to look at this at the very end. Okay, so then we, not only do you get bookmarks, but you also get dashboards. And I love these dashboards because, or it's, it's a single dashboard. So it says spread joy. It has gold foil, Lilo and Stitch design. Um, so this is really nice. So it is sized for the classic. It has a tab up top. Um, this is really good. Like if you want to have like a dividing section, between, like if you want to have like a divider between sections, I love using dashboards for that. Um, you could also put like some sticky notes on the back side, and then that way you always have sticky notes in your planner too. I've seen people do that, but this is super, super cute. And then we have a pocket folder. I love, love these. Oh my goodness. So this is super cute for your planner. Cute and feisty. Same design on the back. Just a nice little folder for you to put into your planner. We have some filler paper. Um, this filler paper. Ooh, I love when they, they have like this lit design filler paper. I don't know if that's the official title, but that's what I call it. So for this filler paper, you have dotted lined on top. And then at the bottom, you have a dot grid. So you could like legitimately use this for different things. You could have things where at the top you need lines and the bottom is a little dot grid section. And it is the same on the front and the back. You could use this for like bullet journaling and creating like your own spreads in your planner. So that's really, really pretty. And then, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is like the piece de resistance. That was my horrible French accent. Oh, this cover. Oh, these discs. Okay, so we have transparent discs with gold speckles. Dare to begin. This is like a nice, feels like vegan leather to me. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, and it is an undated planner. We love undated planners. Um, super cute, super stinky cute design. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna take out the sticker book too because I wanna go through that. And then we are going to do a flip through of this. Love this cover. It feels like the deluxe covers. It just doesn't have a pocket on the inside. Um, then we'll see if the back side has a pocket. It does okay, yeah. So this is like a, your deluxe cover. It doesn't it, it doesn't feel like the exact same quality as the deluxe cover, but it feels very, very nice. Um, like honestly, this would be like a huge perk of getting the box, if you ask me, is this cover. And then everyone has been asking for a Lilo and Stitch planner. So now we have it. Sit back and relax. Beautiful colors. So it's very colorful so far. Even on the actual weekly, we have a little stitch. We have a Lilo. It looks like each week so far, we're getting a different design. That is cute. Oh my goodness. Super, super stinking cute. Yeah, each week is a different design. And then you have a fun currently where you can write in the month. 
your three priorities and important section and then a, this is like a really pale blue but it's dotted lined so each week is or each month is the same in terms of like the designs so let's just go through the dividers so hula honey wild and free lilo and stitch with gold accents chill vibes i love it oh my goodness cute and feisty let's rock ohana ohana means family life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful never lose your sense of wonder stay true to you be kind stay silly love more oh my goodness i that is like stinking adorable and then that's the very last page all right so let's go ahead and go through the sticker book and then after that i want to set up some daily pages using the lilo and stitch all right so sticker book we're gonna zoom in a little bit and by zoom in, I just mean move my iPad. All right, so this is 30 pages, 656 stickers, and it is classic size. So we have functional, like a mix of functional and decorative. These are so cute. I love the colors of this. It's very bright, very vibrant. Lots of functional boxes and lots of decorative. We always have to have the decorative and I love the fact that they included Lilo because I think in like the last stitch line, they did not really include Lilo. So this is like a complete Lilo and stitch collection. Oh my goodness. These are so stinking cute. loving the Hawaii vibe of this These are so much fun. And these are ones have been all on clear sticker paper. Um, of the functional are all on your white sticker paper. These are cute. These are like so much fun. These ones are white sticker paper. So you got two sheets of those. More white. And then the clear. These are fun little headers. And there we go. Oh my gosh, a super cute sticker book. All right, so let's go through the items again. We have a Lilo and Stitch undated planner. We have some filler paper. It's like 20 sheets of filler paper. A sticker book, of course. A mini sized notebook. Two bookmarks. A pocket folder. A dashboard silicone pen pouch and some super fun stitch discs oh my goodness look at that those are adorable okay so let me know your thoughts i'm going to go ahead clean up my desk and then we are going to record a daily plan with me using these stickers so now we're going to do some daily pages and i had an idea that instead of doing like the front of both daily pages, we are gonna do kind of like a page that will work together. It's gonna be like this. 
and then we'll have it like like this that's as well as i can explain it it makes sense in my head if you guys have been watching my channel you've seen me do stuff like this um where it's gonna be like a double spread so hopefully it makes sense too. also my wax paper is almost gone <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start by just grabbing stickers. Um, I definitely wanna use some of the decorative because I wanna do something like super, super cute um, with like the characters together. And I kind of have like this image in my head where I do like different characters along the bottom. So I think that's, that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna do them. And then, oh, Duke's going to join me. We're going to take Lilo. Um, hold on. I know that there is a sheet of just stitch. Let's go find that as well. Because I want to kind of like pick them both together. Because those two are going to be kind of coordinating together. We're going to go ahead and take this one. I want to see if there is a Lilo in sand. Oh, you know what? We should be doing her and him together. I really hope you guys can see this. Okay, you could somewhat see. I'm sorry, I'm so bad at this. And then we're gonna do he is going to be playing in the sand while she is hula dancing. Um, I feel like I kind of need, I think we're going to leave it at that. Um, and then we're going to put like some plants on either side of them. Because in my head, that just makes sense. Um, so let's go ahead and see what other clear stickers that we have in here. Because I just want to see like what other little decorate like what other little flat flowers this is what I want okay Duke but oh you can't do this oh my goodness I am thinking we're gonna do this one now I do want to come back and use like some of these boxes but we can go ahead and pull two boxes right now. I was thinking of not only those, but also these two. So let's go with like a purple and a blue. And then the other page, we're going to go for the pink. And let's do... Let's do a green with it. So those will be, oh my gosh, these are so cute. <gasps> no, we're not. Wait, hold on. Instead of the blue, we're gonna go with the pink because then this way we have like a Lilo and Stitch and then a Lilo and Stitch. I'm just gonna put that one right there because it's easy. Um, headers i do want headers we're gonna we're gonna go with all of the colors in the spread so we're gonna do one that has a yellow and the other one has an orange i would love to have like some little designs behind them so we're gonna bring in some more color do 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 i think okay so one of the things that I need is going to be um, like something for that top corner. And I know that there are some circle stickers in the front. And I think that that's what we're, we're that's what we're going to go with. I think that's going to be, this is what's going to make the most sense. Um, One of them is going to get a Dreaming of Paradise, and the other one is going to get a One Day at a Time. I like those. And let's go ahead and start 
actually this one does not have checklists. So this one, since it doesn't have checklists, we're gonna go with the dots and I'm gonna do the dots at the very end. We'll just use these dots. So let's go ahead and kind of start putting these down. Um, and then from there we will continue on. So one day at a time, Jimmy Paradise, I'm going to go ahead and leave like where it says self-care. I'm leaving that in. Normally I would white it out if like that would be like a situation where um, if. Wow, my brain. Um, <laughs> I would white it out if I was going to have the sticker be covering it up. Okay, so we're going to put them at that side, and then we're going to put them on this side, and then we're just going to kind of start with the rest of them moving in towards the middle. Like, I was kind of thinking, and I, I don't even know if I'm even going to necessarily need the... Um, Yes, I am going to need the I am going to need the flowers. But look at how cute that this is. Oh my goodness. They are so stinking cute. And you guys know I don't use a lot of Disney. I like the Disney, but I don't use a lot of Disney in my spread. Um, so this is just like super fun. Okay, we're going to put this one over here. We're going to put right here over the reminders. But um, whenever I... Put a sticker over something if I think that the word is going to show through I do go ahead and put in or I do go ahead and white it out so that case I definitely needed it and I think for this one it's gonna make a lot of sense to put this sticker underneath of this one So like it can go right there and it's not going to, it's not going to layer over it too much, just a little bit. And this one, I want to kind of do it like a little different where we are putting this one right here. I want to bring it over just a little bit so that way I don't take up too much room. This one is going to go right here and then this box is going to, ooh. Like, I do kind of feel like I need to have it over more. So we're going to put it... Oh, I could also do... Okay, I have an idea. I'm like, how is this going to work out? <laughs> I... Okay, let's... So I want to kind of have, like, this be layered like that. So now I gotta kind of figure out like where is that best gonna go? And I think right there will actually, or I think we could put it on this side and then I could do a checklist on there. Or we could just put it right here. I kind of like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Just move both of these at the same time. It works. Um, we are, we're gonna put this one right here. I kind of realized that I didn't like Lilo perfectly lined up with the other Lilo. So maybe we just use the box that we were originally using. This is me being super indecisive. Um, I also wish that these boxes were dot grid and not lined because I feel like with the lined you, or with the dot grid, you kind of have like a little bit of flexibility in where you want the sticker or how you want the orientation of the sticker. And if I could have been able to put this one like going 
horizontal, I absolutely would have. Okay, now I can't really fit in the florals that I wanted, so we're gonna just kind of put them in here and trim them away. I think this one can actually fit really well over here. I will have to punch that slightly. This one we can kind of fit in between them. And this one we can fit in between them. And then what I do want to do is I want to grab a floral that can go right over here. And I think that will be really easy to just find. <gasps> Ooh, no, 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 no. I almost picked a floral. Oh, we could pick leaves. That's what I want to do instead. Um, I almost picked a floral that had a quote with it. And I'm like, Jessica, we're not going to do quotes. I could, but I just, for the, for the purpose of this, I really wanted just like a regular floral. So now let's go ahead and trim this. Oh my goodness, okay, that's not, I didn't, tr I did not cut it deep enough. And it is very tough to cut in like a little scallop pattern. So I would definitely say that if you're gonna use these florals underneath of the scallops, put it, put them so they go underneath. Cause that would have been a much better decision. And then we're doing one header and then we're going to do this header. I'm doing them both slightly different. So these spreads are similar, but I feel like that they also coordinate with each other really well. And that's, that's kind of the point. I like that. And then last, we just need some dots. So I think what we're going to do, we're just going to do a rainbow of dots down each page. Because I will never turn down the chance to do a rainbow in a spread. And let's actually go ahead and do like both of them at the same time. Seriously, these colors are like fantastic in this in this page or in this sticker book. Super bright, super colorful. Absolutely love them. And then one more color. Oh, Duke, that is dangerous. And then we're going to leave it just like that. Um, because this way, oh, move my cat. This way, if, like, let's say when this page goes to be used, maybe some extra room is needed, it's super easy just to go ahead and stick in a couple extra dots or um, you know maybe put in like an extra box or create like a box using um, mild liners markers that sort of thing so we will leave the empty spot right there just as it is and then finally punch because 
one and two. And then what I am gonna do, um, just cause I still need to clean out my punch, I'm just gonna trim off the little mushroom stems, just kind of trim away because it didn't cut this as cleanly as what I wanted it to. That is a sure, that is a sure sign that I need to sharpen my punch. And what I've seen other people do in the past is they will just take like aluminum foil and they will just punch the aluminum foil and that's supposed to sharpen it. So that's what I will plan on doing today. All right, I think that these turned out super cute. I love the fact that they are like, matching coordinated spreads because especially like when you're using the planner and you go to like flip the pages these are just going to be super super cute next to each other and then the next daily page video that I do I will do the other side of these so uh, there we go Lilo and Stitch. Oh my gosh, I think that they turned out so cute. Let me know your thoughts. Um, did you pick up the Be Happy box? If you did not, um, I would definitely recommend it. It is a super cute Be Happy box. You get, oh, you get this really, really fun Lilo cover that is like a deluxe cover and an undated planner. Like everybody has been wanting a Lilo and Stitch undated planner. So yeah, let me know if you plan on picking it up. And thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.